Welcome to our channel once again, my friends. Thanks for being here on Realize Guyana, home of all the traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we're going to be cooking a very exciting dish for you guys. Traditional, of course. And it's going to be pumpkin and saltfish. So just imagine this, guys, with some aisle roti. How yummy that is. So for our recipe today, guys, we are using about two and a half pounds of pumpkin, the piece there is. We're going to be using about 6 ounces of salt fish, some scallions, onions, garlic, pepper to taste, salt to taste. And that's about all we need for our yummy pumpkin and salt fish guys. So let's get started with this recipe. So we already started some water to boil here to boil out the salt from our salt fish. So we're going to add that now. So before you put your salt fish to boil, you want to wash out the salt from it first, like this, and then you boil it. So we're just gonna boil our salt fish once, my friends, for about 10 minutes, and that'll be okay. So while our salt fish is boiling, we're gonna start filling up our seasoning. So we're going to set our onions and scallions aside. So as you know guys, when you're picking up your pumpkin, the darker yellow it is, the better it is, the sweeter it is. So you don't want to pick up any pale looking pumpkin, right? So when you're cutting up your pumpkin, try to cut them equal sizes so they cook evenly. Alright my friends, so our salt fish is boiled for the 10 minutes that we said we're going to boil it for, so now we're going to wash strain it. So you don't only boil your salt fish for the salt, you boil it also because you want to get a roundness out of it. Remember it's only salted dry fish. So we got everything ready, we got our scallions, onions chopped, the garlic, pepper pounded, pumpkin cut up. And our salt fish finished boiling. So we have heated up some oil in our pan guys. We're gonna go fry our salt fish first. So for pumpkin and salt fish you want to fry your salt fish a bit first. Just a little black pepper. So we've added some more oil to the pan again. So our oil is hot now and we're going to add our onions. And some of the scallions. We've left some of the scallions left. And our garlic and pepper that we found it in the mortar. We're gonna fry this up for a little bit. Release some aromas. So 
So we're gonna add our pumpkin now, guys. So we're gonna add some salt to taste now. Some black pepper. We're gonna give that a good mix. So once we've added our stuff here guys, our salt and everything, we gotta Give this a good stir, which we did. Now we're gonna cover this back and let it cook. Alright guys, so we're gonna check on our pumpkin. It's been about 10 minutes. And some, some pumpkins boil faster than others. You're gonna see how fast yours boil. So as you can see in that 10 minutes, ours has gotten really soft. With a spoon it's being mashed easily, so... We're gonna add scallions now on our saltfish. Salted fish, as I was corrected. We say salt fishing, Guyana, so call it whatever you want. Now you can imagine some oil roti there already, right? I know that. Yum, yum. So we're gonna let this cook for a little bit more now. Let all those flavors infuse together. The pumpkin, the saltfish, scallions we added here now. So we're not gonna cover this for the remainder of the cooking time. We're just gonna leave it open. So the reason why we're not covering it now is because the pumpkin is, we say, spring a lot of water. So if you cover it, the water is gonna take longer to evaporate. So Opening it, leaving it open, the water is going to evaporate faster. So as you can see here, my friends, most of our liquid has evaporated. So we're going to wait for a little more, let it evaporate. Evaporate a little more. And that's going to be it. Alright guys, so look at this yummy pumpkin and saltfish now. So his, it has dried down some more. And that's it. This is now ready. So there it is. Guyanese pumpkin and saltfish to go with some nice hot soft oil roti. And where can you find that softest oil roti? Right here on Real Nice Guyana. I'll put the link to that recipe below this video so you guys can go make that as well. And have a yummy 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 traditional Guyanese meal. So that's it for this video guys. If you like it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click on the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.